And I want to talk 30 seconds about basically why participating here is just awesome. Um, everyone can make something. And of course we've seen quite a, a lot of complex examples of a hack from a actual physical bike, which is the hack, just purely, um, to uh, some mobility thoughts on how to improve mobility. Uh, one of the key things I really liked uh, about uh, Tristan's uh, presentation is your inner child. Ask children uh, what a paper clip, what they would do with a paper clip, and then ask an adult what they would do with a paper clip. Two different realms. The child's going to look at you and say, paper clip, okay, what size? Is it made out of spaghetti, foam, metal? What, what do you mean? What can I do with it? Should it fly? Should it float? Adults, we have like this paper clip from the office in our <coughs> head brand marked and no, 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 it's more, paper clip is just so much more than only the mundane tool of keeping uh, paper together. And that is also what this is about. This is just really sort of rethinking everything, questioning everything, challenging everything, and, and without being too aggressive about it, just really also, yeah, break some laws, why not? Like Tristan does. Um, avoid messages like the uh, last image you saw where you have two partic participants in the traffic that see red. That is the worst communication ever. How aggressive does it get? Like, yeah. guy next to me sees red, I see red. Yeah, we're gonna have a fight in a minute. That, that's just like ridiculous. And it is the, the national security of the road agency. Can't take these guys serious. As a side note, probably this was actually one of the schools who worked with them who come, came up with it and they were just like happy that someone did their work. But that's just being nasty. Um, so also challenge these kind of things. Think about how should actually such a communication look like? How can you actually share the road without ripping your guts out? With the consideration that as a cyclist or pedestrian you are always and will always stay vulnerable. I am naked on my bike. I will probably die if some big truck hits me. Um, if I hit the big truck, nothing's going to happen. And that is also something that needs to change in the mindset of, of, of everyone who is participating in the traffic. And then, if you have realized that, just participate and be, um, be wide. A couple of people on Twitter said they're just going to use the entire road. Yeah, do it. Because their car is very expensive anyway. They really care about their cars in this country. So they will make a big bow around you. Um, so yeah, don't only think about uh, the cycle hack as this physical thing, or electronics, or wearables. It can be concepts, it can be uh, policy changes, it can be um, advertisement, um, new road signs, uh, new signs on the floor. And we have all that material here to realize all of that. We've got Play-Doh, um, we have... Uh, uh, finger paint, uh, thanks to Jeremy, uh, cardboard, scissors, everything you can just imagine to, to just um, find your, your hack. Because in the end, this is our city, this is our public space, and it's very important to reclaim it and to share it with everyone. So, with that, I leave you and um, enjoy the brainstorm. Thank you to all of you for coming. I hope it was interesting. And if you haven't signed up, because I know not all of you have signed up, then you can still ask us and, uh, and you can register until tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning we start at 9.30 over here in, uh, in the rectangular building just over there. Uh, okay.